Buckle up, legends, you're in for a huge show. The one and only Captain Jack Sparrow and his comrade Scrum make a very special visit to the hospital. And we step into the world of Lorassic Park and get up close with some amazing looking reptiles. Let's get this party started. Children's Hospital and we've got a great episode coming right your way. So let's get this party started and get scaly. Hi Laura, thanks for coming and who are you bring along with you today? Well thank you for having me Maddie. I've brought a few different animals with me today but this is Star and Star is a central bearded dragon. So central bearded dragons are native to the centre of Australia, so she lives in the desert. Can I pat him? Absolutely, she likes pats. Why are they so spiky? Well she's so spiky because it helps keep predators away. So it helps keep away things that want to eat her and it also stops her from losing too much water. Oh. Laura, I heard on the internet that um, um, some of these lizards, all these lizards actually eat um, insects, mostly crickets. That's correct. So Star here loves her crickets, but she can also eat a wide variety of insects. So she can also eat cockroaches. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. And she also eats her fruits and vegetables. I've never seen one in my backyard before. Where do they live? So Star is a central bearded dragon. So she lives in central Australia, mostly desert areas. There is another species called an eastern bearded dragon, which is similar to Star, but they're a little bit bigger. And you might have seen those in your backyard because they're native to the eastern coast of Queensland. Okay, um, Laura, I think it's time to put a star away and meet another lizard. Absolutely. I'll go and get Lizzie the blue tongue. She's nice and smooth, isn't she? I think the last lizard was a bit spikier. So this is Lizzie? That's correct. And Lizzie's an eastern blue tongue lizard, which are native to the east coast of Queensland and New South Wales. I have a question for you, Laura. Mm -hmm. um, why does Lizzie have a blue tongue? Well, Lizzie has a blue tongue because it's meant to scare off things that try to eat her. So basically, blue tongue lizards have a blue tongue because it's scary to birds or cats or dogs that want to try and eat them. Do you think it's effective? Do you think it would work? Not to Would it scare you? It doesn't <laughs> scare me. Well, that's good. She's not meant to be scary. She's so much smoother than Star. That's so she can move through grass really quickly. Feels like a snake. Pretty cool, huh? You what know? does she eat? She loves eating snails, but she also likes to eat insects like crickets and cockroaches. That's a bit gross for us, but she loves them. We're gonna have a really good question. Where do they sleep? Blue tongue lizards like to crawl under lots of bark and lots of grass, lots of different things to hide themselves at night, and that's where they like to sleep. They're nice and cosy. <laughs> that's pointy, isn't it? OK, guys, before we get any further, it's time for a super-duper awesome surprise on Juice TV. I've 
guess because I've been fighting, I've fought cancer twice and I kind of deserve something special, but I think everybody should have something special too. Do not be putting me eat in a room full of spiders. Oh my gosh. What do you think, everyone? Well, it's obviously something big. <laughs> Take you to the room of spiders. <laughs> like, spiders. I don't like spiders. May I have a hug? Yes! <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's Scrum. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Oh my gosh. He's filthy. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> more, more, more than me. Not all the time. We're all, we're both filthy. Caitlin? Filthy dirty. How do you do? Caitlin refuses to speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> she does not He can mind read. May I have a hug? It's like speaking without talking. It's like saying it without saying it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? How do you do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Where are you? Where do you think no, you are? I have no idea. Where am I? At the children's hospital. Oh, well, that's right. I'm at the children's hospital. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Yes, it is. How do you do? This is a lovely place. It is lovely. Really lovely. Do you know it's very well lit? Yes, it is. It's really bright. And the people here seem lovely. Yeah, they are. I hear you made an incredible amount of progress, you. Yes. Um, ah, we'll ah, be food. Fair. Dinner, food. just in time. What's your favourite? Hello, I like chicken. Chicken. Hello. 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 Hi. We'll go. Thank you, dear. Do you know these people? Should we trust them? He's he stole a gold coin from me. Hi. Hello. What is your name, sir? Kara. Hi. Right. Kara. Kara. I can't spell that. I'll be honest with you. C-A-R-T-E-R. Why do you know how to spell it and I don't? I don't understand. I like your PJs as well. May I have them? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now I've got my own PJs. <laughs> there they are. Awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. Cool. Did you smile? Yeah. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't smile at all. I did. You did not smile? All right, I smile too. <laughs> now, if there's other people in it, why do you call it a selfie? He's gone to sleep. Wake up, Jack! Mums, mum, mummy. Look. I'm shy. Or do you just like to sleep? I'm just tired. Very difficult being a pilot. You gotta rob people. And rob Shh. them. What are you Daddy, saying? I'm not looking. Look, look into the birdie's eye. Yeah. What is that? What is that? It's okay. Is it nice? You'll be famous. I don't think I want to be famous. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be famous. Welcome to Juice TV, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 cut, cut, cut. I sorry, think we should cut. print it sorry, cut. sorry, did you learn your lines? No, I didn't. OK, well, we've got one more go. You ready? When I say action and do that... He never learns his line. You ready? Shh. You ready? Three, two, one. 
Shoot, everybody ready? Here we go. Shoot. <laughs> Four, five, nine. Action. Welcome to Juice TV, Jack and Ke- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. Where? There. Not Jack oh, right. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. That sounds like a lawyer. <laughs> one more time. Three, three, two, one. Action. Welcome to Juice TV, Captain Jack Sparrow. Yay! We've got some really hard questions for you. Oh no. Now I'm working. Really, I'm really hard. Oh, yeah. It's like taking a test. Oh no, I can't do that. I dropped out of school before I went in. What's your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment? I wet me bed. <laughs> Last night. Did you just not feel like getting up? Yeah. I mean I was awake and everything, I was just watching tea. I wet me bed. Do you even have a toilet on the ship? No, of course not. You ever heard of the poop deck? <laughs> I mean, it's not called the poop deck for nothing, is it? Is it? What's your, the grossest food you've ever tasted? Grossest food? <laughs> Possum. <laughs> really? But I thought they were cute and fluffy. Not when they're cooked. <laughs> you know what they taste like? They taste... Like Brussels sprouts. Far worse. Yeah. They taste like the colour grey. What did the colour grey taste like? The inside of your pocket. <laughs> it what tastes does the like... inside of your pocket taste like? Like... Lint? Lint. Like, like just strange little balls of stuff in a in a pocket and, it, and it's a bit grey and you don't know what's been in there because you forgot and, and then you wet the bed because you didn't want to get up and what happened to your finger my finger i bruised it very badly i ate it i bit it off i'm starving i was always starving i bit my finger i ate it the tip of it just little mm. nail wasn't good Right. You have to focus. <laughs> All right. Would you rather have to pick <laughs> Jack? No. The whale? Did I see it right? Would you rather have to pick your nose or lick your toes? Pick me nose or lick me toes. Well, why can't I do both? <laughs> Which one would you rather? Rather. My toes. Do you have sensitive hearing? What? Do you have sensitive hearing? What? Oh, forget <laughs> it. I do have. I. What I have are sensitive ears. Oh, they're very, they're very you shy. don't say. They're, but I do I did say. <laughs> I did. How dare you accuse me of not saying. You heard me say it. Yeah. All right. What's your favourite song, and can you sing it for us? Would it be a pirate shanty? It could be. They're filthy. <laughs> yes, I bet they're full of swearing. Loads of swearing. <laughs> Let's not sing it for other kids. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My favourite song is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Can you sing it for us? I've yes. never, I, I've please, never. please, please, <laughs> please. Want, want, want me to sing the song? Yes. Would you like me to sing a song I've never heard? Yes. What's it called? Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> da. Da. We can all sing it. And all right. the play is gonna play, 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 play. and the hate is gonna hate. hate. <laughs> Never mind. And then you shake it off. And I was going to shake, 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 shake. Right, I'd like to say one thing to everyone. You are all very straight. <laughs> well, we but have to wrap it up. No, why? We have to go. I'm having fun. What are we wrapping up? By a gift? This. Is that my gift? No. What do I get to take home? Nothing. Microphone? <laughs> no. Oh, well. All right, I'm taking you. No! Yeah. As long as you can take my mum. Take your mum. Take your mum. <laughs>
Take it, Mum, as well. Awesome. Have you seen this? Yeah. That. That was me cat. See? I uh, ate him. Because I was hungry. Do you see that? That is a chicken's foot. Did that chicken foot just make that noise? <laughs> That's a chicken foot. Maybe a pig. And there's, there's absolutely no reason for it. I found it. Now I put it on me, and it's rotted. Thank you for coming in. Are you it's kidding? been great. Are you, thank Excuse you. Me, can I just interrupt? Jack, Donnie's on the phone. Donnie? It's her lovely father. Can you say hello to Don Donnie? Donnie? Donnie, his name is. Say hello to Donnie. <laughs> Hello, Donnie. Sorry. Hello, Don. Tick. Hello? <laughs> Hello? How do you do, sir? I'm all right. I think we're doing something called a television show. And, uh, yeah. And I've been asked, uh, uh, I've been asked some, I've been threatened by a, a young woman named Ula. <laughs> so I'm taking her and her mum with me. And I met your lovely Rihanna. And and she won't give me her T-shirt <laughs> because I, it it says I love sleepovers. In fact, it says I heart sleepovers, <laughs> which doesn't make much, very much sense. But I, I like it and I want it. Will you talk to her for me? You're the best. <laughs> I, I shall pass it back over to Scrum. All me best, mate. Take care. Mm. Cheers. How about? Sorry about that. Sorry to interrupt you. you I've on just that. spoken on the phone. <laughs> me. Spoke on the phone, me. I did. Are you very proud of yourself? Of course I am. Of course I am. <laughs> You're the best, kid. Thank you so much for coming and, you know, just thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank That's you so okay. much for... You can come anytime. Asking me the questions and threatening me and <laughs> trying to make me sing that. I'd <laughs> yeah. make a good pirate. You, you know what? You would make a great pirate. A really a great pirate. What is your name? <laughs> well done. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Sparrow came in and so did Scrum, and it was so awesome, and I was so happy to see that everybody got to meet him too, because I think that everybody should be able to meet him as well. Um, and he gave me some gold, and I can't, I just can't believe that he came. When I walked, um, when I was walking down the corridor, I kind of suspected that it might be somebody famous because everybody is holding cameras and everything like that. And then he was just there, <laughs> near the elevators, and I was like, holy moly! <laughs> I even got to give him a hug, and it was so good, like lots of hugs. He's like a giant teddy. He's funny, he's not very focused, <laughs> um, but he's really fun to have around and makes you laugh and makes you feel good about yourself and stuff like that. Hello. 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 This one doesn't work like the other one. No, <laughs> I think you're supposed to put it by your mouth. Why? Because that's how you make it work. I'm not going to eat it. No, I don't eat it. Just put it next to your mouth. Uh, no. <laughs> Down a little bit. Move it a little bit, a little bit. He's going to show me, you Watch. Do it like that, yeah? Just hold it there like that and then put it and then you can talk like that. What, well, I, bre I, I breathe into it? No, I don't breathe. Just like that. Like that. Here we go. Here we go. go. <laughs> ah. How do you do? My name is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Don't believe me at all. Right then. Hello. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. I have no idea what this thing is I have in my hand, but I've got it, and I'll nick it, which, obviously. But I just wanted to say uh, thank you to, to Juice CV for having me on. I've had a wonderful time, 
I've had a fantastic time meeting all the all the kids and everyone and the parents and the people and all that and the, and I stole a lot of things. Um, and I want to salute you, all of you, for your bravery and your courage, because that is all that matters. You fight the good fight. Now, I've just been told that someone's about to take. Take off with me, Black Pearl. They want to sail away without me because they're sick of me. But I'm going to catch them. I want you all to have a great, 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 great time watching all this stuff. And uh, I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing in my hand. But I send me love and I send me respect and I send. I send some gold. I'll send some gold that I stole. We'll send some gold round for you. All right. Have a good one. Lovely. Yeah, that was so cool. Okay, let's keep the fun going. You know what it's time for? Yes, it's time for Quick Questions. She's the youngest in her family. She has a wicked sense of humour, loves to play with her dog, and those that know her predict she's going to be a movie star. Let's find out a little more about Maddie. I'm seven years old. My favourite sport is running mostly. I love long distance running because I just, I love um, running and it's just really fun because my uh, it gets in my face and it's really funny because um, I start <laughs> waving my hands because it's so windy and I just I love going I just love running. My hobbies are jazz and ballet. I do my ballet on Fridays and I do my jazz on Wednesdays. My favourite movie star is Johnny Depp because I love how he runs in the Pirates of the Caribbean. I have heaps of favourite animals, but my my two favourites would have to be a wolf and a dog. I love dogs because they're just so cuddly and cute, and I love wolves because I I love how they look and I also love how they howl at the moon. <laughs> The most embarrassing moment is when I I went on my scooter and I tripped over on a rock and then my, my still was eating a banana and I splattered my face in the banana. I'm really good at running and dancing. My favourite song um, is not actually a real one but it's on TV. Uh, but my favourite one otherwise is Up Down Funk. It goes a little like this. Up Down Funk You Up. Up Down Funk You Up. Say Up Down Funk You Up. Up Down Funk You Up. If I could have any superpower in the world, it would be invisibility because I could scare people and pretend and there would be a floating drink. And you could just pop up and scare people. It would be so fun. This is my favourite dance move, the shimmy. I don't know probably how to do it. OK, guys, moving on. Did you hear last, last weekend there was an awesome day that was organised by the Bank of Queensland? It was to raise money for the, hosp uh, the Children's Hospital Foundation. Lots of friends got to go. L let's take a look at the action. Hi everyone, I am Liam and I'm the Bank of Queensland's Ambassador and welcome to the Family Fun Day! John, why are we here today? Well, we're here today to raise a lot of money for the Children's Hospital. There's lots of fun things here to do today. Lots of rides, lots of activities, lots of food stalls. It's all about you because you're our ambassador. How did you arrive here today? Because you're our special guest. At what mode of transport did you come in? I came in a Hummer. No way.
What activities are we going to do today? Well, I tell you what, there's a lot here to do. There's a surfboard riding competition over there. I want to have a go at that. There's also some rides for kids as well. There's a chance to pat some animals and some horse rides. And I love eating cakes and lollies, so I'm going to go to the cake and lolly stall. So, Liam, what are you going to do today? Are you looking forward to having some fun? I'm going to go on some rides. The first one I want to go on is that slippery slide. <laughs> What are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to um, going on lots of rides and I think this day is going to be very fun. I hope it is too. I lasted about 30 seconds but I think that's more than John would last. had a big day at the Bank of Queensland's Family Fun Day. I hope you've had fun watching me and I'd like to thank all the Bank of Queensland members and staff. Bye for now. From all of us, a big thank you for everyone in that works in the Bank of Queensland. you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Okay, Laura, it's time to meet the snakes. Who is this? So this is Esmeralda. She's a Darwin carpet python. So she lives, she comes from Darwin originally and she loves to live in trees. I want to know why, why is she yellow? So she's yellow because she's an albino. So you can tell an albino if you look at her eyes really closely, they're pink. Ah. And so is her tongue. Her tongue's pink as well. So Ooh. basically being an albino means she doesn't have as much pigment as other snakes. Can I have a pat? Absolutely. She feels so smooth and soft. Bumpy too. Whee. So can you feel her individual scales? Yeah. Each Ooh. one of those dots is a scale. Oh my gosh. So can you see how the, the scales on her belly are bigger than the scales on her back? Yeah. That helps her grip onto things. So that's like your fingertips, how your fingertips have ridges. That's similar to that. How does she climb trees? So what she does to climb trees, and she's doing a very good job of climbing me at the moment, mm -hmm. is she'll use the muscles on either side of her back and she'll pull them this way and she'll pull them that way. And that's how she climbs. Uh -huh. So she holds on very tightly. tongue like we use Ooh. our nose. Ooh. So she's actually got a forked tongue, so her tongue looks like that. So her tongue is so sensitive Ooh. she can actually smell whether something's closer in one direction or the other. <laughs> she likes climbing. Oh my gosh, she's climbing my hand. <laughs> what does she eat? She loves eating mice and rats. 
But in the wild, she'd probably eat a combination of different Australian native mammals, different rodents and different birds. Ooh, so you can have a look at her head. Her head's nice and chunky. That means that she can open her jaws really wide. So you might be able to get a little glimpse of her teeth. So everybody thinks they've got really big teeth, but her teeth aren't very big Those at all. Those are tiny. Oh, is that nice and soft? I heard there's a lot of um, different snakes in the world. Can you tell me some of them? Absolutely. So you've got three main families. So you've got pythons, and Esmeralda is a python. That means that she constricts her prey, so she coils around it. That's why she's so muscly. Then you've got colubrids. They're not quite as common, but we've got a few of them in Australia. One example would be the green tree snake. They're quite common around Queensland. And then you've got elapids. Now these are the dangerous ones. Like the red belly black snake? Absolutely, well done. So the most important thing about snakes is that you don't ever touch one unless there's an adult with you and it's safe. That's really important. Very important to remember. It's almost time for us to go, but do you think I could have a hold of Esmeralda? Yes, you can. Is it alright if I pop her on you? Yeah. I'll just pop her tail on. <laughs> How's that? Is she heavy? Oh, she's really heavy. Is she holding on to you? Yes. Sort of. Oh my gosh. Good little doggy. Good little dog. Thanks, Laura, for coming um, and teaching us some education about the snakes and the lizards. Thank you for having me, Maddie. It's been a really fun day. Yeah, I had fun too. That's excellent. Show, but before we go, I'd like to shout out to all the nurses that helped me when I was in hospital and all my friends and family. Bye! <laughs> That's alright. Oh, she licked me. Oh, it's going my way. It's going my way. It makes you my heroes because if you're my heroes, that makes me uh, 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 one of your fans of, of heroes, I think, and, and thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, wow! Ooh, oh, oh, oh. And now I think I've got to go because that woman who was trying to tell me things is, is push. I think she's about to push me out of here. What else did you want me to say? Thumb? <laughs> Thumb. I don't know, I probably had to do it. Cindy. And I, and I, and I, I know that I'm rambling, but I don't care because it's actually, there's a tape in this thing. It'll go forever. <laughs> hey. and, and, I mean, I'm getting paid by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm not getting paid by the hour. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode. Let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.